there, my name is Courtney and welcome to my new DIY channel. So today I'm going to be dyeing and bleaching some t-shirts and stuff. I've seen a lot of people do some really cool things, but I haven't seen anyone try the things that I want to try. So those things mostly have to do with some white t-shirts. You'll see when we get there. I'll explain kind of as I go for each of the things. Um, but the white shirts are currently being washed right now so that they can be prepared to be dyed with the black dye. And I'm still, I'm, that's where I'm going to bring in like the fun ideas that I don't think anybody has tried yet, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but before I do that, I am going to uh, try a few just regular items. I dug through my t-shirt drawer and found a couple of old black t-shirts that I thought would work really well for this project. And then I happened to also find this Nautica sweatshirt in my closet that I don't really wear super often. And I figure maybe if I spruce it up and make it look cool. So let's get started. Okay, just as some safety precautions, I do have gloves and I'm also wearing, um, you know, a white sweatshirt. So if I get bleach on it, I won't be too mad. Okay, so I was kind of thinking I wanna try like on one of them to do like a traditional tie-dye swirl and then maybe on the sweatshirt and uh, the other shirt do like the scrunch method of tie-dye. Oh, and in case you're wondering, so I'm gonna use a spray bottle to make it easier so that it's more concentrated in the area so I can spray it in a more, you know, so I know where I'm spraying it and then you'll see when I do the other DIYs why specifically I'm using a spray bottle. Um, but in here so far I just put some water and then I'm gonna add bleach so I'm gonna have half water, half bleach and if I want, I can add more bleach, um, but I'm gonna start with half and half and see how that works, and then if I want, I can add more. And I'm only doing a tiny bit because I don't think I'm gonna use a ton, because I'm just spraying it. Obviously, I can make more as I go if I need slash want to. Also opening a window to let some fresh air in because you know it sounds like a good idea while using bleach. I think I'm gonna add a little more bleach. Great, yeah, no, I'm doing really well right now. Then in here, two shots of vodka. Woo, that's gonna be strong. Also, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but this is a navy sweatshirt as opposed to these two being black. So I'm really interested to see if this does something different because obviously the black's gonna turn orange. I'm not 100% sure what navy's gonna do, so we'll find out. All right, so all three of these have been sprayed. I think I'm gonna let them sit. This one definitely turned Oh, very, very quickly. I'm super psyched to open that one, but I'm gonna leave them for a few more minutes. This one doesn't look like it's really pulled any color yet, but I did saturate it quite a bit. So, like I said, we'll let that sit for like 10 minutes. If it still doesn't look like it's done anything in like 10 minutes, I might 
sprayed a little more, put you here, and I might as well undo this one because she looked done. Let's see. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Ah! It's amazing. Okay. Love that. Um, I kind of wish it actually had a little more. I'm not mad at it. That's cool as shit. So I'm gonna go rinse this out and eventually once they're all done, they will get washed. Okay, next up is the experimental portion of this video. So I washed three white t-shirts and I'm now rubber banding them halfway. Um, two of them I did horizontally and one I did vertically, rubber banding them each at the halfway point. Um, and then I'm going to make some black dye. Obviously you can do whatever color you want um, and whatever brand dye you want. I just used the RIT brand that I think I got at Michael's or Joann's, I'm not really sure. Um, and I just dipped them halfway, and I will say the color is going to run on the other side of the rubber band a little bit. It's not bad. Um, it still works. Um, I also would recommend making sure that you keep the shirts away from the flame because I did end up with a tiny hole in the shirt that you see closest to me because I didn't make sure that it was far enough away from the flame. So the longer you let them soak, the darker the color is going to get. I don't remember exactly how long, but I think I just did whatever the bottle said and then rinsed out all of the shirts and threw them in the washing machine slash then dryer to prep for the next portion. All right, so the black and white shirts have been rinsed out and then all of the bleached stuff is in the washing machine. So once that's done in the washing machine, I'm gonna have to throw the black and white shirts into the washing machine. So I'm gonna call it a night and working on this for today. And then tomorrow, once everything has been washed and dried, I will show you guys how all the bleach stuff turned out and then I will finish the black and white shirts because that's the part that I am very excited for. Okay, so it is, let's just say it's a few days later and these are how the shirts turned out. Um, this is a cute little spot from where I burnt the shirt. <laughs> um, but okay, so there's like the side by side one and then the two up and down ones so I think for this side by side one I kind of like it like this like I think it's cool I think the only thing I want to do is I'm just wondering if I were to spray this whole side with bleach make it white because obviously the color ran when I washed them so now it's more of a gray color I may just try to spray the whole side of this with bleach Okay, so this is really interesting. Obviously this was a total experiment. It's like turning purple. I kind of, oh no, I splashed a drop of bleach in the middle of the black side. I take one glove off, to flip it over, ooh. Okay, so I either just made this shirt look really cool or totally fucked it up. I'm not quite sure, but we're going to put it aside and find out. Okay, for this next shirt, I want to kind of do the same thing, but essentially make it ombre going all the way down. So I'm going to completely saturate it up top here. And then as I go, I'm going to do less and less. So I'll just have kind of a few squirts across the bottom here. I'm not, I have no idea how this one's going to turn out, but I'm, this was one I was very like, wonder what would happen if I try this. Well, oh, should I flip it? I feel like I should flip it. Ooh, you can already see it coming through where the dots are. Oh, because there's probably uh, bleach on the table. I like it, I like it, I like it. So you gotta just keep going with the mindset that like, no, it looks good, it looks good. Ooh, that one already, oh, you can see it, it looks so cool. Oh my God, I can already tell that one is gonna be so cool. Okay, so then for this last one, we're gonna splatter white droplets over here in the black area and then that's why i only wanted there to be a tiny bit left in here because then i'm going to put some of the black dye 
that I used for this part in here and dribble that over here in the top. And I'm really hoping it looks fucking cool. All right, and then I'm gonna go um, clean this out and put some of the black dye to do the top. So I've got some of the black dye in here, and let's oh, make sure. Okay, yeah. Ah! Oh god, that looks so sick! All right, and I'm just kind of trying to make sure it matches. Like, oh no, I got a couple of black spritzes on. Well, both of the other shirts, it's fine. We're fine, this is fine. This is gonna look so dope. And if anyone asks and there's imperfections, you know what, I made them myself. I don't care. Okay, so I am done with all three of the shirts and I'm going to let them sit here for probably like 20 minutes or so. And then I will throw them all in the washing machine and do a try on haul of everything. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the uh, bleach dyed stuff. And oh my God, okay, so this is just a shirt that I used to sleep in, but I'm gonna be honest, I might try to figure out how to like pair this with some jeans. I could like tie this up. I love the way that this turned out. It is so cool. Okay, so I can't say that I love the way this turned out. It definitely did not take color out like I thought it would. So I don't know if maybe I should have um, not watered down the bleach for this one, like used just straight bleach. I obviously missed this whole giant section here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like it a huge amount before, so that's why I bleached it. It wasn't like my favorite sweatshirt. And now I kind of hate it because it looks <laughs> it, like, it looks like it got fucked up and like I don't know if you can see but here I'll come close up so it looks cool because there's like this purplish ring around where it bleached but it just doesn't look cool enough far away okay and last but not least, um, this one thankfully did, the bleach came out a lot more once I washed it. So, I like it, it's cute. I'll probably tie it up for summer. Um, as you can see, I like to do that with my tops, clearly. Um, but yeah, cute. I don't, honestly, I think I was getting ready to get rid of this shirt and donate it, especially because since it's getting kind of loose. But I think now I'm going to keep this and have it just be like the kind of shirt that I do like art projects and DIY stuff in because if I get bleach on it, who cares? Okay, so close up you'll be able to see all of the little spots. This is actually the shirt that was supposed to be like like sprayed black on top and white on bottom. I forgot that this the instructions on the dye says to boil it first or something like that. I don't remember exactly what I did to do the bottom half, um, but I forgot to do that for the top half for before I sprayed it. So I'm guessing maybe if I had done that, it would have worked. Um, make it another DIY shirt. <laughs> Probably what this is gonna be. Okay, so then this shirt turned out so bomb. I think this might be my favorite of all of the ones that I did. Um, but this is the one that I did the gradient from top to bottom. I honestly wish I think I would have just sprayed the whole top with bleach so it would be nice and bright. But I love the way all of the splatters turned out at the bottom. I think it looks so cool how there's more up here and then it goes to less towards the bottom. I think. The back turned out pretty nicely as well.
Okay, so I'm really hoping you can't hear the lawnmower that's going on outside, but oh my god, this one is hands down my favorite. I am obsessed. Okay, I don't I don't necessarily love the little bleach stain right here, but like aside from that, I love the way that this turned out. And I kind of I like that the black almost like obviously it looks like this because of the way I scrunched it and it almost kind of like tie-dyed in a way, but I like it because I like how it's not perfect. I don't know, I love it. I think it's so cool. I think it'd be cute tied up. Of course, <laughs> we're gonna figure out pattern here. So yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you do or try any of these, I mean, I know the bleaching is really popular right now, more or less, I was doing that to show how a way of doing it, um, but if you try something like this or any of these, or if it inspires you to do anything in any way, shape, or form, please let me know. I would love to see it. Send me pictures, tag me stuff, whatever. My Instagram is linked below. Um, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm so excited because there's so much more to come, and so I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye!